Hi, welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Kicking off the show today with Thomas Lamar. More talk today about Thomas Lamar. Now, I was chatting to uh, one of my very good uh, connections, good links, and he said to me yesterday that Arsenal actually down in Monaco yesterday talking to Monaco and Lamar's representatives about trying to get this deal done. It's been going on for ages. Um, I think I did a show a few days ago where I was like, hurry up and get it done if we're going to get it done. Um, it's a definite target of Arsenal, the number one target that they've been trying to get um, done and get over the line. But Monaco have been digging their heels in. But are Monaco starting to get themselves ready to sell Thomas Lamar? Now, I spoke to you guys the other day and I said that uh, Monaco have been linked with this guy, Rashi Gazelle, who can play in exactly the same position um, as Thomas Lamar, he's a very, very good player, available on a free from Leon. Well, they announced yesterday that they signed him. It was on their um, Twitter account that they signed Gazelle and Gazelle has come in. So does that now mean that they are now ready to sell Thomas Lamar to Arsenal? And it's all about Arsenal getting in there and getting the right valuation and, you know, what Monaco want and getting this deal done and over the line. Um, certainly... We're going to see movement, I think, well, I'm hoping uh, over the next week or so with this one, whether he stays or whether he goes. But apparently Arsenal were in Monaco yesterday having talks uh, with representatives and we'll have to wait and see what happens with this one. Now, news coming out yesterday about Gabriel. Now, of course, he's uh, currently injured, um, picked up a horrible injury just before the end of uh, last season. Um, but Gabriel apparently today linked with a move back to La Liga um, with um, with Valencia. Now, of course, we bought him, um, I think it's 2015 we bought him from Villarreal. Uh, he's coming to Arsenal. Been a bit of a bit part player. He hasn't really um, been a starter for Arsenal. When he's come in, he's done okay. I wouldn't say he's the best centre-back in the world, but then he's not the worst. Um, but uh, Gabriel today being linked with a move back to uh, La Liga, back to Valencia. Now, would this be a deal that Arsenal would possibly do? I mean, we look at the defenders at the moment. We've got a lot of defenders, you know, six, if you count all of them. Mertesacker, Chambers, uh, Gabriel, Koscielny, Holding and Mustafi. I mean, obviously too many centre-backs at the moment. Um, it's looking like Chambers is going to be on his way out. Could Gabriel be the other one on the way out? We know that at the end of the season... is going to be moving on into the coaching positions. But could Gabriel be the next person that um, you know, is on his way out of Arsenal? And we, we heard already from Arsene Wenger where he's saying that certain players are going to have to be um, moved out because the squad is just way too big at the moment. Now, if Gabriel was to move on, and say Chambers was to move on, right? All right, then you know, you're left with four, but... In effect, Mertesacker, at the end of the season, as I said, is going to be moving on into that coaching position. Should Arsenal go and make a bid for Virgil van Dijk? I was interested to hear um, Ian Wright saying yesterday that, you know, van Dijk, you know, Arsenal should definitely be moving for him. I was chatting to Thierry Henry yesterday um, at this event that I, I was at, and uh, Thierry Henry was saying to me that he feels the defence is good enough, but if you can get somebody better, why not? And he was also saying that he thinks it's more all about the organisation of the defence. But Virgil van Dijk yesterday handed in a transfer request at Southampton. He wants to leave. He's desperate to leave Southampton. Um, and his transfer request has gone in. Liverpool were interested in him, but because of what happened, the whole tapping up thing... They may not go back. There was rumours a couple of days ago where apparently Liverpool are saying, listen, they're just going to concentrate with what they've got. Chelsea were interested. Should Arsenal make a move for Virgil van Dijk? It would be anything from about 60 to £70 million because he, he's still got a long time left on his contract. But he's a leader. You know, what? I was really impressed. Every time I saw him um, last year live, you can see he's got leadership qualities, he's commanding. I remember when they played us, um, I think it's the EFL Cup, he was so strong and commanding in that game. Now, we lack that at Arsenal, you know? 
And as I said, you know, Mertesacker will be eventually moving on. Would Van Dyke be perfect for Arsenal? When you look as well at some of the players that we've been bringing in recently, if you've got a team and you've got a spine of Petr Cech, Van Dijk, um, Kolasinac, Xhaka, you're starting to have like a big physical team that can look after themselves in many games. So for me, I agree with Ian Wright. And especially if these rumours about uh, Gabriel are true, why not make a move for Virgil van Dijk? He's available. Well, Southampton are saying they're not going to sell him. But if a player's handed in a transfer request, he wants out. There's a strong possibility that they're going to sell him if the price is right. Arsenal do have the money. They're going to be shifting players out. Why not? move for Virgil van Dijk. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Let me know. But I, I think it's a no-brainer myself. Um, Lucas Perez seems to be getting very, very close to moving to Newcastle. And every day Newcastle coming out and saying that they're real admirers of him. They're on, on, in the hunt for a striker. And uh, it definitely seems to be Lucas Perez, their number one priority. He's definitely going to be leaving the club. Um, there's lots of players we need to ship out. And he's one of them. Um, so could Lucas Perez be on his way to Newcastle or will he be going back to La Liga, Deportiva, a host of other clubs over there in Spain wanting them? Problem is a lot of them don't want to pay that £30 million pounds that Arsenal are saying that is the minimum that they will take for him. Um, listen, don't forget tomorrow the walk begins for me walking around all the grounds, London grounds in the Premier League. I've got to say, I haven't been able to do any practice over the past few days. Just been really too busy, but it starts tomorrow. I've seen the weather forecast, pure rain. But thanks for everybody who's donated so far. Over £3,000 raised. We want to smash it up. We've got a target of 5000 I really want to smash that. So please keep donating to that brilliant cause for Prostate Cancer UK. The walk begins tomorrow morning, early, early, early. I'll be setting out um, from West Ham's ground, heading towards Crystal Palace. That was a long walk that first day, but we're going to be making that. It looks like in the pouring rain. Um, and plus as well, I've got to say, um, thanks to Sky Sports yesterday for this Sky Sports Day. I went down there, got to meet uh, Thierry Henry. Uh, it was surreal. Walking around all day, chatting to Thierry Henry. Me and him, like buddies, just walking around all day, just chatting about Arsenal. And he had so many... It's a shame that we weren't able to actually do a video of it, of us, what we were talking about. But he had such good things to say about the whole thing. And he's so passionate about Arsenal. I mean, really, really passionate, this guy. Still about Arsenal. He really wants to see us succeed. He thinks that the squad is good enough on the pitch, but are they good enough up here, he was saying. And, uh, and, and that is, is so true, what he was saying there yesterday. It was really great to meet Terry Henry, Jamie Carragher as well, so I met down there. Soonis, Jamie Redknapp, it was good, but Terry Henry, uh, what a guy. Brilliant meeting him. Uh, thanks for watching the show, and we'll be back tomorrow.